They've been hiding underground, feeding on the roots of trees for 17 years. For entomologists, this is one of the things we live for. Rutgers Entomology Chair Dr. George Hamilton visited this tree at Princeton Battlefield State Park in 2004 to see the natural wonder appear. The wait to see them again, well worth it, he says. It was just as spectacular as it is this year. There are no other insects that I'm aware of that have a life cycle that lasts this long and they're only here briefly. Periodical cicadas are coming out of the ground to mate. The nymphs have to shed their skin, similar to a butterfly in a cocoon, before they can fly onto the trees. To fly, actually, they have to have a body temperature above 50 degrees. So the loud noise we're hearing is coming mostly from the surrounding trees? It's coming from the surrounding trees. They are probably up in the tops of those trees and the uh, males are, are making the calls to attract females for mating. They have a structure on the top of their thorax called timbals and they are membranes that they can vibrate. So what you're hearing is them vibrating those timbals very, very quickly to create that noise. The female stays up there until up she, in, until she the, lays her eggs. They're up in the trees as well. And then the nymph will just fall down. That's correct, right. Wow, it's pretty high up. It is, and they're very, very tiny. Dr. Hamilton says the nymphs then bury themselves into the soil about two feet deep and stay there for 17 years, feeding on the roots in the ground. As for the adults, they all mate and the females lay their eggs, the adults die. They're here for only about three to four weeks and then they're gone. It's a really unusual life cycle where you have the juvenile stage basically is the whole life and then the adult stage is just this tiny little bookend. Dr. Jessica Ware is associate curator of invertebrate zoology at the American Museum of Natural History. There's different broods of cicadas. There's 15 broods across the United States, uh, mostly in the eastern part of the United States, but some of them are in the Midwest. What we know is that the brood that's emerging right now, which is brood 10, this is New Jersey's time to shine because we actually have an abundance of brood 10. They can be found in six counties in New Jersey, Dr. Hamilton explains, and they don't pose any threats to humans or animals. Their defense against predators may be in their numbers. We know that lots of mammals consume them. We know that birds consume them. We know that people consume them. Um, and so perhaps having a satiation strategy where they all come out in this, these giant numbers, it kind of fills up the bellies of the potential uh, things that might be eating you. And then you yourself as an individual cicada have a greater chance that everybody around you will be eaten and then the predators will be full and then you'll be able to survive uh, to pass on your gene. Is you this the here. same amount you think that you saw 17 years ago? Uh, this is at least as many as I saw 17 years ago. Okay, so they're not an endangered species. They're not an endangered species, um, although they have seen um, over the last three to four hundred years that we've known about these insects a reduction in the areas where they still occur because of the development, because they feed on the, the roots of trees and other types of woody shrubs. Um, as we develop the land and remove the trees, we take away their food source. If this area stays untouched until 2038, We'll see them emerge once again. I'm Leah Mishkin for NJ Spotlight News.